Hey guys, Kimberly here and permission to blow your mind here for a second. So if you know me, you know I love all things techie and spreadsheets. And let me tell you, I have been working on something since yesterday afternoon. How can I track packages from post office, FedEx, UPS, in Google Spreadsheets so that way I'm not going to all these different websites, different places, in my email to try to figure out if things have been delivered. This is a way to put all of those things in one place. And if you use my customer spreadsheet, you can add this in there so that way it makes things super, super seamless. But let me show you down below in the description, I am going to give you this sheet right here. And it's all inclusive. It is everything that you need to copy and paste. So the first thing that you need to do is right here, you need to copy all of this pink area, okay? I'm gonna come back over into my Google Sheets. Up at the top, under Tools, you're going to go to Script Editor. Now, if you already have something in this section, it is possible that you have another script running somewhere in your spreadsheet. If that is the case, you want to do a new, okay? Add a new script. We'll title this one packages, okay? So you don't want anything in here, okay? It needs to be completely blank. So now I'm gonna paste in that script. Once you hit save, let's go back over to our Google Doc and scroll down. Now you're gonna need some columns or headers in your spreadsheet. So I already have mine set up, you can see over here. So I have the tracking number, the carrier, the status, and delivered on. The first thing you need to grab is gonna be the tracking number. This can be from your email or from a website. All you need is a number. You don't need the entire link, just the tracking number and paste it in that first cell. So that's right here, in A2 or whichever cell. And please be aware of that. Your columns might be different than mine if you're adding them into a different spreadsheet. So please, please keep that in mind. So to figure out who the carrier is, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna copy this one. I'm gonna copy, come back over, and in the cell next to the tracking number, we're going to paste. Now, one thing I wanna make sure you are aware of is make sure at the beginning of this formula, there is nothing there. Sometimes it might put like an apostrophe. So make sure there is nothing there. Again, if your tracking number is somewhere else other than A2, you're going to edit this right here. Put the correct column and cell. So for me, it's A2. I'm going to hit enter and you already saw it populates as FedEx. So now we're going to go back, go to the next step. Now we're going to get the delivery status. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna copy this right here. Head back to my Google Sheet. In the cell next to the carrier, I'm gonna do the paste and then enter. It's been delivered. Now a next step further, we can come down here and now we're gonna get the delivery date and time to see when exactly it was delivered. Copy that, come back over here, paste. And look at that, it was delivered on December 30th at 7.30 p.m. So now we have the tracking number, we have the carrier if it was delivered, if, when it was delivered so that way we know to verify, to check in to make sure it was delivered. Now, if you have multiple tracking numbers going down the side, all you have to do is just put it in these top cells, these formulas, and then once you click on the box, there is going to be a little blue box right here in the bottom right corner. Once you hover over and you get the crosshairs, just click on that and drag down, and that's gonna bring the formula all the way down. Same thing if you have numbers above it, you can drag it up. Same thing here, and it's just saying there's error because there's no, it needs this right here in order to do the work it needs to do. And so that is how you do that. So I hope this makes your life so much easier. If you have any issues, make sure you definitely go back and look at this and just go back over everything. Make sure that you followed all the directions. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know. Bye guys.